hello and welcome back to my tutorial channel this is Gabby with Endress Analytics so uh, a few weeks ago I did a tutorial on how to implement Google Analytics in Google Tag Manager and I thought I would do um, a sample of um, how to do that with Adobe as well at least just the base code as you can see here I already have the Adobe Analytics base code um, implemented in Google Tag Manager um, and so and it's living right next to my Google Analytics base code and you'll notice here that with Google Analytics base code you know it, the type is is universal analytics um, same rules and everything um, the difference here is for Adobe that you have to use the custom HTML tag. So let's say we were uh, going to create a new tag and you select a tag type. If you're going to implement um, any kind of custom tracking, um, especially from an outside analytics tool like um, Adobe Analytics, Web Trends, etc., this would uh, work for all of them, you would need to do the custom HTML tag. And then within this box, you can actually cut and paste your um, JavaScript. So any kind of JavaScript, that kind of thing. And then of course, you can also make sure that you support document.write um, and other types of um, JavaScript um, tagging and things. Um, I'm not going to go through um, this whole thing right now um, in terms of, of creating a new tag. Instead, I'm just gonna go into, so I haven't changed it, so yeah. I'm, I'm going to discard those changes and here take a look at what the tag actually looks like so this is just the base um, Adobe Analytics tag and um, instead of doing um, what I showed um, a few weeks ago with WordPress of cutting and pasting it into a, a WordPress PHP file um, instead I now have it um, sitting inside of my um, Google Tag Manager instead and Google Tag Manager is serving this code to my website instead now. And so here is um, the, the really basic um, tag, um, base code tag that has to live on every page of your site for Adobe to do the tracking. Um, it has the link here to the, uh, the sco.js file because I'm not using the new app measurement tracking. I'm still using um, the um, slightly older version. Um, uh, H.26.2, um, basically S-Code.js um, version of tracking. And then you can see here, this is the only kind of um, tracking out of the box right now that I am doing, doing as page name, as channel, as prop uh, to uh, with document. .ver. And I know this is not the most ideal way of doing any kind of analytics tracking with Adobe. There's a lot more advanced things that you can do, but for right now, I am doing ex as as bare bones <laughs> as I as I can. Um, and I will be adding um, additional um, advanced tracking in the future, and I will do a future tutorial on how I do that, especially how I implement that with Google Tag Manager. Um, and for those folks who might be asking, well, why aren't you using Adobe Tag Manager? It's because um, the client who has been so kind enough to allow me to use their Adobe Analytics account for my tutorials um, has not given me access to Tag Manager um, on their account. Um, and that's, that's, that's all. And that's the only reason. And I'm, you know, I'm very grateful that I'm able to have uh, the access that I do. And so I just kind of have to do things a little bit more the old-fashioned way. I can't do things as fancy as I'd like, but I can at least use Google Tag Manager because it's free. Um, you know, there's lots of other tag management systems out there that are paid for, that are third-party, but um, at least Google uh, is free. But the caveat of using the Google Tag Manager with something like Adobe is the fact that you do have to put um, your your JavaScript code into um, a box like this, and you basically you have to have a developer still um, helping you manage that if you're going to use Google instead of using the Adobe Digital Tag Manager where um, everything is kind of point and click for the most part. I mean, there are some advanced settings and things that you can do in Adobe Tag Manager um, from the little bit that I have worked with it, but um, with Google, um, unfortunately, that there is no support for Adobe and therefore you have to kind of do everything manually. Um, so anyway, that is you know, pretty much it. I mean, the only thing to remember um, is that when you're using uh, Google Tag Manager is to make sure that you have a firing rule enabled for your tag. Um, otherwise, you can publish to your heart's content. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to work until you actually have a firing rule enabled. And for right now, this is for all pages. Obviously, I would have to have a separate firing rule. And we can take a look real quick at that. So here's the uh, the all pages rule. We'll uh, 
uh, to just take a look at that. And it's, it's just URL matches regex dot start. That's it. Um, and so that's that's sort of the basic out of the box uh, rule that comes uh, with the tool. And uh, you can obviously add other other rules. You know, to, to be a lot more specific using regex. Um, you'd have a whole bunch of, of options here, equals, contain, starts with, etc. And so we'll uh, get into that a little bit into more detail when I start implementing uh, some of the more advanced tracking, doing um, some events, um, e-bars, etc. Uh, that kind of thing for Adobe and putting that into Tag Manager. Um, then we'll, uh, you know, obviously we're going to not do that. Um, some of them will be on all pages. Uh, some of them will not. <laughs> And so, uh, so for those kind of things, like, you know, having a separate um, tag for those kind of things, I'll probably do a separate tag for, like, events um, that go on, you know, like, like events for all pages versus events for, you know, very specific areas and that kind of thing, or even for a specific page itself, like an, an event um, that gets fired when hitting a submit button, that kind of thing. So, at any rate, look forward to um, that with, with the tutorials. But, um, yep, that's basically all I was going to cover today, was just showing you um, how it looks to implement um, the Adobe Base Tag in um, Google Tag Manager. Thank you for joining me, and until next time, um, you know, please, if you have any questions, um, let me know. Um, if you want any more detail information about Google Tag Manager, I did go into a little bit more detail um, with my uh, implementing Google Analytics in Google Tag Manager, so please take a look at that video. Um, but once you've watched both videos and you have any additional questions, you know, please leave them in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer them. And uh, until next time, um, please take care. Um, if you find these videos helpful, please uh, like them, please share them, and uh, please. Um, subscribe if you have not yet because I will continue to try and produce videos um, weekly as best as possible. Until next time, take care.